Hello, and welcome to Bane's Joy of Painting. All right, so this is Bane here. Uh, this is a, an extension. Uh, I, I, I just, like, bust it out. So um, I'm pretty excited. We got a lot of assets coming. We got a lot of web M files g coming. There's going to be uh, 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 spell effects coming, and uh, everyone knows the assets window up here. Um, Look, man, I love everybody. It's my works, but it sucks. Okay, this really sucks, especially if your computer's a potato like mine. Like, you click on stuff. There's a wait. Um, you know, if you want to do a search, you search for water. Okay, clearly I already queued this search. <laughs> but uh, when you click on things, like here one, it's just going to pause, right? And I think the next time you search, it'll, well, it's still thinking about walls. Now I got the spinning scroll of death. All right, so you see what I mean. So it sucks, right? So um, I decided to uh, make an extension uh, that's going to create a painting palette. Um, it actually can create multiple painting palettes. You can actually export these palettes um, into different campaigns. So you can just preset them up. And uh, I'm gonna show you how, we, how we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna release this for free. Uh, this is this is like a basic functionality thing. My extensions kind of fall into two different things. I, like, you know, rule sets generally are free. Um, extensions that provide just like some kind of basic, you know, user functionality, I give away. Um, if it's content, something that I create, I sell it. So I'm gonna give this away, it's gonna be for free. If you wanna buy me a cup of coffee, that would be great. You know, it would probably incentivize me to keep developing and other things. So, you know, throw, throw me some gold and uh, that'll be solid. So what's gonna, what's gonna happen here is it's gonna, when you load the extension, you can see it's gonna load on the sidebar under palettes, okay? So if we open that up, we get these records, okay? And these are gonna be exportable records. Um, you're gonna, uh, I, you could just create a new one right here, right? You could see that, that uh, uh, Bane's undergone some sort of transformation there, happy little assets, and uh, it's gonna look like this. Um, and so what you do is you go into your assets and you have to do this one time and one time only. Let's say we want to set up, I don't know, what do I have? Um, you know what, I've got like this abandoned places, uh, Smiteworks thing. Let me see if I could just find it. FG, oh, let's do the FD dungeon. All right, so we're gonna call this one our dungeon map assets. I like to make maps like in the middle of the game because I let my players do whatever they want. Sometimes you get a random encounter. Sometimes you need to be able to quickly make a map. Okay, and this is going to help you do that because if you're trying to fumble with the assets window to find what you need, it's it's it can take too long, and I hate hate that. So we have brushes, decorations, and floors. So I'm going to find a stone wall, and I'm just going to drop it in there, and then I'm going to go up. Oh, geez, see this is I always do this. <laughs> I, this is why I hate this window. Like you hit the wrong button, and you're you're back at the beginning. Perhaps it's it's user error. Of course it is, but. Uh, um, you know, it, it sucks. All right, so stone floor, we're gonna add that in there. All right, now I'm gonna click on brushes. Oh wait, I wanna click this one. Okay, good. Maybe we'll add some decorations that we wanna have. Um, ooh, look, there's a stone altar. Um, now, you can see it's gonna drop the name in here, uh, just like you would kinda see if it was on your hotbar. Um, hopefully, the, the I did the parsing right. I'm gonna put some bones. Oh, I just, I need to put the bones there. Oh, look at that. It just, yeah, we need to go back. There we go. So I just, I need to lock that. I see it's the token, it, the uh, little image is accepting drop when I did that. So uh, I'll put some, maybe some dirt. Let's put some dirt. All right, let's go back to this. Let's look at floors. That's the same stone floor. We could do a, uh, we could do a grate though. All right, so you kind of get the, got the, get the picture here. So you could kind of make up your map as you go um, you know what let's do a grass grass background and so all right we're just gonna take this and we're gonna create an image with it all right so now I have my window here and I can just uh, go in here and uh, let's see we want a stroke of the wall I've got a debug there we're gonna put the stone floor in there and let's do this we're going to I think I can just copy this, can't I? Oh, I gotta go to, there we go. Let's make four. I am 
no Josh, that's for sure. All right. We're going to go to here, make it a little bit bigger. And then why don't we put a grid on it? Let's put this grid on it. Okay, and then now we're going to go paint it. So let's see. Um, we're just going to put like a square. I don't, that's way big. Let's, let's knock it down. Okay, and we're just going to, going to paint it, right? I just drug it straight from there to that. So I think, you know, you could just drag this stuff on there and just, you know, look, I just added some bones, right? There's a big dirt pile there. Um, I just drag it straight from this little window. I think it's going to speed things up. I know it's going to work for me. I like to make things that I, I'm going to use, so I'm going to be using this. Um, I want you to use it, though, and I want you to provide me feedback um, so that I can make updates or changes. The only thing I'm not going to do is get rid of my awesome uh, picture that my daughter made for me that, uh, where I say happy little assets. That's forever going to stay. All right, so uh, real short video. I think I'm actually going to go clean, the, clean up the debugs. I'm going to lock these tokens, and I think I'm just going to post it. Okay, one thing real quick, um, I haven't added little add or delete buttons, but you can right click and delete an asset. So if I right click this and delete it, it's gonna go away. I can also add a blank one for some reason if I wanted to, but um, I think I'm gonna get rid of the add. No, I think I gotta keep that. I'll look at the code. So um, anyways, uh, looking forward to your feedback and uh, thanks for watching the short video.